So I don't know if you can see this. You can see this kind of steel pipe right here. So the ventilator actually comes out of the booth and What's up y'all? Trey B. Dippin in the building. You know what time it is. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. For all my current subscribers, what's good? You know what I'm saying? So today, um, I want to do something a little different, um, especially since I've been in my new shop probably about eight months or so. I don't know. I've been here since February, so whatever. We're in what, December now? Yeah, it's about eight to ten months, roughly. Um, and I haven't give you, given you guys like an official update slash like walk around. Um, last time you guys saw the shop, as far as walking around officially um, was when I first moved in so for those of you who are new I want to show you guys a clip of what it looked like right when I moved in and then I'll give you a tour of what it looks like now So it's real nasty outside. I don't really want to go outside, um, but I don't have any decals or banners or signs on the building yet. I've just been really busy, and so I may do that soon. Um, but on the outside, I got three parking spaces. There go, you know what I'm saying? The Pearl Bomb A5 uh, customer's vehicle. Currently, I'm re redoing a bunker for them, and then my bay is on this lane. So I got three spots. And then of course when you come in, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? MR Dips Lounge, you feel me? So when you come into MR Dips, first thing you're gonna notice is the unique decor on the walls. And I'm not just talking about those speed shapes over there, I'm talking about that paint that paint splatter on the wall. Um I wanted to do something unique with the office, so that's why I went that route. And of course, obviously, I like it. You know what I'm saying? That's why my car is like Pearl Bomb. I actually did these walls before I did the, the car. But um, yeah, I just wanted something unique, man. You know, a lot of times you go into offices and they treat it just like that. And I wanted to make mine more or less kind of like a lounge. That's kind of the, the vibe I was going for. So, got the paint splatter on the walls. Very unique. And I got the, um, I forget what it's called. Uh, some type of steel core. It's like roofing tin, pretty much. I wanted, like I said, man, I wanted to do something different. I was going for kind of like a industrial lounge type feel. So, got my speed shapes on the wall. Um, these I've, I usually try to do. Um, anytime I do a new color, I'll do a speed shape, and I had kind of fell off with that because I was so busy, and I had to order more of these speed shapes. So, uh, at some point, I'm hoping I can feel this entire wall um your boy got the 55 inch joint you know what i'm saying um for customers who you know or for myself if i'm in between coats and especially in the, when it's colder weather you know what i'm saying i got hulu espn what you want you know what i'm saying i don't know what sling is prime video netflix whatever you need my guy other than that i got some little decor here and there my first place prelude from Honda Day. I got uh, my color swab book. So whatever I don't have on the wall, speed shape wise, I have it in this book. Some advertisements, some informational. My very first m and Dips brochure. This was made like, like four years ago. Still looks good. I need to get some more made actually. Um, oh yeah, I'm certified buddy. Dip of the month, 2016. Authorized installer banner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's pretty much it for the office, man. Behind the desk is kind of messy. Uh, only thing worth showing probably is I got eyes on you, cuz. So don't be running up on my shop. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I got lasers and turrets and, and all that, too. <laughs> all right. So once you walk through that office door, 
Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, like I said, it's nothing too special. It's just a workspace. You know what I mean? Um, pretty pretty simple, man. Pretty simple setup. Um, I'm running. This whole shop is about 1,200 square feet, give or take a few feet. Um, but like you saw from that previous clip, none of this was here. I mean, me, my boy Tevin, and believe it or not, my mom. She actually came up with the blueprint for us to build this office. Um, she made the blueprint, and we did all the dirty work. So I got the office, um, and like I said, the workspace, man. Uh, only other thing, I got uh, my compressor over here, trash can, you know what I'm saying? My, oh, you know you got to have the trusty dandy microwave, you feel me, for the lunch breaks. And the, the refrigerator that hasn't been plugged up yet. I'm actually missing the shelves out this joint. <laughs> so I just keep stuff in there. It's clean though, but it ain't plugged in yet. Uh, my AC unit I had put in over the summer. Um, only other thing, really, besides the booth, is my bathroom. Um, I haven't really done anything to it, but try to keep it keep it semi clean. Nothing really to see in here, really. You know what I'm saying? Except this guy. Yeah, MR dips, baby. You feel me? But anyway, um, on to the booth. All right, so here we are in the booth. Um, I have a few updates since the last video. I highly suggest, because I don't want to be really repetitive in these videos, if you haven't seen my other two videos, I'll put the link to those videos in the description. So if you're here for the booth specifically, pause the video, go down, watch my other two videos, and then come back to this update video, because you're going to miss a lot of information I'm not going to give you. Starting with the lights, and if you notice um, that this is a blow up booth but it's not blown up it's held up with a structure if you want more information on how I did that definitely go check out those other two videos uh, with that being said update wise um, I do have carpet now I had carpet in my other location I can't speak for everyone but personally it makes a better situation for me uh, overall because what happens is the carpet um, I can vac literally it takes me five minutes to vacuum this whole booth if not less and it it sucks up all the big particles and all the small particles get trapped in the actual carpet so that gives me the best possible finishes I can anyone who paints in a booth knows that they usually use water um, but that can get messy and it's not always foolproof you know so um, as far as keeping debris and dirt and trash down I mean the carpet like hands down is the best situation for me personally um, that being said a lot of people ask, um, how are you getting the fumes out if you're not using the blowers? Well, I'll show you, my guy. So, um, I actually use a, uh, I think technically it's an attic ventilator. So, if you look right here, I actually have a ventilator uh, that actually sucks out the fumes. This is a 12 inch in diameter um, ventilator, and uh, it's pretty strong, bro. Um, if you're comparing it to a real, you know, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar paint booth, no, it's not the same. Of course, it's not the same. There's a reason why I did this. It's, it's budget friendly. Um, two, the second reason is I don't own this shop, so for me to spend that amount of money on a real booth, it's just not smart. Um, at the end of my lease, I could be kicked out for all enough I mean who knows you never know maybe the rent goes up and I don't like it maybe I need to leave so um, but short story with the ventilator is I do have it running I don't know if you can see it does come the ventilator is actually on the outside right it's probably blurry you probably can't see that so I don't know if you can see this you can see this kind of still pipe right here so the ventilator actually comes out of the booth and with that ventilator, it does come with this uh, this orange uh, one foot in diameter tubing. And basically that goes from the booth up, connects to this, uh, this tin exhaust, and then goes out the roof. All right, so this is the mask that I use. I 100% recommend it. It's gonna protect your face, your eyes, and your lungs at all at the same time. It's a little more expensive, but you only have to really buy the mask one time. These filters on the side, um, these are replaceable. You can take those off. Personally, I replace them just about every job. 
Um, sometimes I have to replace them uh, in between jobs. Um, so I always keep one set, one fresh set on the mask and a backup set in between jobs. Um, other than that, man, uh, that's pretty much it. I got my little room back here um, where I fill up all my paint and stuff like that. Um, Cause you don't want to have to exit the booth. So I'm, like it's, it's, it can get pretty annoying when you got to exit the booth a lot. So I kind of have this uh, set up uh, where I got my gun and all my mixing stuff. And it's, it's, it looks a little rigged, but actually it's, it's a pretty legit setup. Boy, if you don't get- If I do say so myself. <laughs> But um, it, it's it's better than like going out the booth, all the way out the booth, mixing or especially when you're just refilling the gun. I mean, it could be annoying exiting in and out of the booth multiple times. Um, so that's why I actually utilize that room, even though I have shop space. Other than that, man, um, I have to say for what it is, this is a very good setup for what it is for the price. I want to say all in all. Um, for those of you who are wondering about the price, I can't remember all the numbers exactly. I know the, the booth itself was about 2000 but that was with the blowers. You don't, you won't need the blowers. I think without the blowers, you can get it for about $1,700. Um, the ventilator itself, uh, I think I got that for like 130 I do recommend, if you're going to do this often, as, like say as I do, I would also keep a secondary ventilator um, on hand um, so that... Uh, if something goes wrong in the middle of the project, you're not stuck. Um, you can just kind of flip it over and replace it. Uh, and the lights, all in all, with the wires and everything, I think I, I think I spent like maybe 200 bucks or so on all the lights. Um, and then the PVC piping, um, I think I spent about 250 to 350 on that with the screws, because I did. Um, with all the joints, I did screw all the joints in, so there was no chance of it kind of accidentally popping out. So I'd say, all in all, whatever the total was, roughly, I'll throw it up on the screen, and uh, hopefully that helps you make a decision. I mean, thirty, you know, three thousand, thirty-five hundred is a lot better than fifty thousand. So, for you know, for a regular boot. With that being said, if you do want to see some kind of live action. Uh, performance of the booth and how it is to kind of spray in it I do have other videos on my channel um, you can definitely determine the difference between like my regular videos versus uh, my actual like dipping videos uh, so go check those out if you want to see like some performance and how the small gets and all that stuff you you, you know you're more interested in stuff like that go check out one of my other videos uh, and with that being said if you like the video or if it was informational, hit that thumbs up. And you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.